Hi everyone, it's Lynn and welcome back to another retro cooking recipe. So today we are doing pecan pie surprise bars. This was in 1971, the 22nd Bake Off. Pearl Hall won this with her great pecan pie surprise bars. This is the first time though that the Bake Off is in Honolulu, Hawaii, which back in 1971, Honolulu had only been, well, Hawaii had only been a state for 12 years. How exciting that must have been for all of the contestants. There was a hundred of them that went to Hawaii to the Bake Off. And when Pearl won, she won and Bob Barker gave her her check. Can you believe that? Now we've got big time celebrities we're in Hawaii, and Pearl also had a twin sister, Merle, who um, they both did bake-off contests. They were very well at it. Pearl had died in 1999, and they made the Pearl Hall Award. And, of course, the first one to win it was Merle. And this um, award was, won was given to people that had entered at least 10 baked goods and 10 preserved goods and had the most blue ribbons. So Pearl was also in the Hall of Fame and I'm sure her sister was also there too. With that being said, let's get to that ingredient table. So the ingredients that we need for our pecan bars, um, well, it is Pillsbury, but Betty Cracker was on sale. So we're gonna reserve two thirds cup of this cake mix for the filling. So we're gonna use the rest of this for the crust. So whatever's left over from two thirds, um, a third cup of butter, one egg, we're gonna press that into our little pan here. And um, for our filling, we need three eggs. You know, it just said a half a cup of brown sugar and then it wanted one and a half cups of dark corn syrup. I had light corn syrup and dark brown sugar. I mean, the only thing that's different is molasses. So I'm going to pick up some of the molasses here. But I, it's not really going to make that big of a deal if we're, you know, I'm not going to go out and buy some dark corn syrup. I don't really use it too often. So we're going to use one and a half cups of light corn syrup, a half a cup of brown sugar, one cup of pecans, and then we need a teaspoon of vanilla. So let's get our crust made, baked off, and then we'll make our filling. And here we have our one egg, the rest of the cake mix that we left two thirds cup out of. We have it saved in a little bowl over here for our filling and um, our one third cup of butter. We're just gonna mix this until it comes together and then press it in our pan. So my butter is softened. We just want to get this mixed together. Then the rest of the ingredients will make our filling. All right, so we've got our base pressed into our, um, I don't know, 9 by 13 pan. That was greased. We are going to put this in the oven, 350 degrees, for 15 minutes. All right, so in our bowl, we just basically put the rest of the ingredients. So I have my two-thirds cup of cake mix, our um, brown sugar, we are going to add our three eggs, all those in there, a teaspoon of vanilla, and then we are going to also add our one and a half cups of corn syrup. We're gonna get this all mixed together, and then we're going to pour it right on top of our warm crust when it comes out of the oven. And then you just sprinkle your pecans on the top of this mixture. Okay, our crust is out of the oven. We are then just going to pour our filling mixture right over top of this warm crust. Pour all that goodness right on top of there. And then we are just going to sprinkle our pecans on top of that and get it in the oven for another, um, I think it's 35 minutes, 350 degrees. So I'll say 30 minutes. I'll make sure I put the correct time right down here. All right, all set to go in the oven, 350 for 30 minutes. Okay, pecan bars are out of the oven, look kind of scrumptious. We'll have to try them to find out. All right, everyone, my thoughts on 
pecan pie surprise bars. They're really good. They are really, really good. I took them to a barbecue. They all went. Everybody loved them. They're not really sweet. They are super easy to make. Now we've got some convenience foods that are moving in here with, we used a, um, a cake mix with this. So they were really easy to make and they were actually very, very well done. So with that being said, you'll have to turn in next week to see what we've got coming to us next week. And stay retro, my friends. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you next week. Bye, everyone.